Zed, the legendary assassin that used to be the one-shot king. Never the strongest meta pick, but still incredibly dangerous in the right hands at the right time. Now though, he's currently being banned in one in every three games of League of Legends. Some people feel he is an absolute monster. Here's why. All right, so Zed is not in the healthiest spot in League of Legends right now. What did I just die to? What the f*** is that? For most of Zed's 11 year history, he's been a solo queue hero. A niche pick, popular in low elo, with huge snowball potential, but traditionally, if that snowball doesn't get going in the early game, it's hard for him to succeed. This has always been especially true in higher ranks and pro play, where players have been more able to play around his cooldowns and punish him. But recently, his ban rates have spiked to over 30% in Masters and over 36% in Bronze. In fact, across all ranks, his ban rate is now pushing 40%, making him the second most banned champion in the game behind the recently released Briar. So, what has changed? Why has he now struck fear into the hearts of the League of Legends community after being fairly inconsequential for so many years? The answer is ability haste. So far in Season 13, Riot have made some pretty sweeping changes to Assassin items. We've seen nerfs, buffs, and reworks, but when the dust settled, Assassin players realized that stacking ability haste was actually more optimal than some traditional build paths. Hydra, Duskblade, Black Cleaver, Serelda, Axiom, and Boots can result in ridiculous ability haste levels, which have created a perfect storm in a champion like Zed. Ability Haze paired with W Max on Zed has resulted in Living Shadow becoming a borderline spammable ability, with much lower downtime than in past seasons. All of this has contributed to Zed feeling more like a mage than an assassin, able to safely clear waves at a distance in the laning phase and become incredibly slippery by the mid game. To put it simply, many feel that the state of ability haste on Zed has made him non-interactive and removed the high risk, high reward gameplay that made him the poster child for assassins in League. One Redditor ran the numbers recently to point out that with just two items and boots, they hit 44% cooldown reduction, beyond what the CDR cap used to be, and that they hit 61% with their full build, able to just spam Ws at will. Now to put that in perspective, Earth mode gives you 75% cooldown reduction, so we're not a million miles off that. But here's the thing, in some ways, all of this is no accident. In a recent tweet, Riot Froxon said they've been trying to move certain classes away from damage and into other outputs, e.g. assassins using haste instead of damage to make them more about repeatability and less about one-shotting. He later said that champions casting more abilities is what they've been leaning towards because it channels their gameplay through their kits. But is this actually what people want from assassins? One Redditor argued that they don't mind when Zed one-shots them, but it all comes down to a lack of counterplay and trade-offs. That it's fine if assassins one-shot people because they traditionally have long cooldowns and have to wait for another attempt if they fail to get the kill. The argument here is that one-shotting is the whole point of assassins. That's kind of their shtick. The issue is they've been building high ability haste sustain bruiser items like Gore Drinker, Black Cleaver, and Ravenous Hydra, which have turned them more into AD mages. Froxon weighed in again to explain that Riot balances assassins around three different types of combos. Their luxury ones, which are ideal but infrequent, their standard ones, which are easier to pull off, and their low counterplay ones, which should rarely result in a kill. The issue, Froxon says, is that assassins have had to rely on landing their perfect luxury combo to even have a chance of getting a kill because there's too much counterplay for their squishy targets to avoid or disrupt a combo. He also said that ability haste has been used to avoid one-shot or be one-shot metas, which allows assassins to lean more on their utility spells and ultimates when behind, so they don't need to be so overbearing when ahead to avoid the agency and counterplay 
issues associated with this. He pointed to Duskblade being an example of an item which, with no haste and more AD to compensate, would be difficult to tune with those standard combos because every item would cause such a spike in burst damage. He did acknowledge that assassins building Gore Drinker is not ideal, but that they do consider some, like Black Cleaver, to be healthy when used situationally. Froxon also admitted that the downside of using non-damage stats like haste to balance around is that people will complain about Zed builds, but that he thinks this is specifically a Zed issue and one which they're looking into. And this is something that some in the community have been saying, that this isn't an assassin problem, it's a Zed problem. That his standard combo has more range than some mages, and that his mobility and safety simply does not have a proper trade-off versus his damage. Assassins are admittedly having a bit of an identity crisis right now, but Zed has become the face of this because his issues are so egregious they've actually shifted him into an entirely different class of champions. Sure, other assassins may have issues around ability haste and counterplay, but at least they're still assassins, and that's more than you can say for Zed at times. Now, there has also been some clapback to the complaining. One parody post on Reddit argued that Zed should just lose damage every time he builds an item, and that he shouldn't have mobility like an assassin. Another featured interviews from three victims of Zed abuse with his crimes including farming under his tower. It's fair to say there isn't complete consensus on this. Some people feel this is just the normal complaint from players who believe that any champion that counters their own shouldn't be in the game. But as we've seen from this video and the recent ban rates, many do feel that Zed is part of a deeper issue here. That while he may not be the devil incarnate, he is a microcosm of a much larger issue. The 13.20 patch preview was released yesterday, which features an incoming nerf to ZW in an attempt to steer players towards maxing his E instead and ultimately make him less magey. They admit that this is simply a band aid fix for now. While we may see his ban rates slide back to normal levels, until there's a fundamental rework of Zed's relationship with the items that he relies on, we may continue to see the Zed problem bubble just under the surface.